A concerned Edmonton citizen heard about the Canadian Interfaith Call for Leadership and Action on Climate Change. He wanted to engage his congregation in understanding this historic document. He gathered a small group of friends in the congregation. Together, they decided that several goals needed to be reached. 1. Make fellow congregants aware of the existence of the call, and then to reflect upon its contents. 2. Ensure that decision-makers both in the church and in government were aware of this congregation's views on climate change. 3. Engage even more congregants in effective creation advocacy. To ensure that members of the congregation knew about the call, copies were made available after Sunday services and included in the parish bulletin. A member of the congregation was able to speak to the contents of the call during a service. Congregants were invited to sign the petition, prepared by CPJ and circulated across Canada, in support of the call. A table at the church was staffed for several Sundays and time was available during coffee hour so that members of the congregation could discuss the call. Eighty signatures were collected on the petition and sent to the local member of Parliament. She was pleased to table the petition in the House of Commons. A note was sent to the National Church Headquarters thanking the church leader for taking the stance and informing him of the congregation's activity in support of actions on climate change. The MP sent the congregation the government's response to their petition. She thanked them for their initiative. This response was reported back to the congregants and posted on the congregational website so that signatories were aware of the results of their action. How might you move from interest to action? Take a few minutes to complete the worksheet provided. On the last question, consider these actions. Request a sermon on climate change. Propose to your minister or priest and church council that the church's prayers reflect creation advocacy and care themes. Write a letter on creation care and advocacy and send it to your local newspaper or religious magazine for your denomination. Ask your minister or priest to raise creation advocacy and care as an issue in the local ministerial minister's group. Write to the leader of your church with recommendations on climate advocacy. Be clear that you would like a response.